Well, tomorrow, if you look up shortly before noon, you might get a chance to see the annular solar eclipse. It's only going to be partial around Illinois, moving from northwest to south, and with the cloud and rain, who knows? Michelle Nichols is the director of public observing at the Adler Planetarium. She joins us now live to talk about more. First of all, I, I did a double take. It's not an annual solar eclipse. It's an annular solar eclipse. W what is that? Annular comes from the Latin word annulus, which means ring. And that refers to the ring of sun that's left around the moon because the moon is a little farther away from the earth at that point during the height of the eclipse. And so it's not big enough to cover the sun completely. So for, a, a, for some folks out in the west, in the southwest U.S., they'll get to see that kind of an eclipse. Gotcha. And if it weren't cloudy and rainy here tomorrow, what would that look like? We would see about 43% of the sun covered, so just under half. And um, it starts at 10.37 a.m., ends at 1.22 p.m., with the peak, that almost half coverage, mm -hmm. um, at about 11.58 So even with so, the clouds and rain, will we notice a darkening of the skies? No, no, ah. unfortunately. Um, no, it's why I'm kind of going, oh, maybe the clouds will clear out a little bit. No, <laughs> no, you won't notice any difference. The sun is just way too bright. Okay, but I know over at the Adler Planetarium, you all uh, have a number of programs that can still help people understand what's going on as well as uh, introduce them to a love of science and space and exploration. We've got some educational activities tomorrow led by some of our teens, uh, our teen interns, and some of our uh, guest engagement staff. So that'll be happening throughout the day. We've, we're giving away uh, solar viewers, so get ready for the April solar eclipse. So we're going to give these away starting at 10 a.m. Uh, so come on down, get one. Um, and we are going to have our Sky Observers Hangout YouTube show starting at 10.15, mm. youtube.com slash Adler Planetarium. Okay, so you can take part even if you uh, aren't going to visit the Adler in person. Uh, tell us a little bit about some of the programs though, that you guys are running for the next few months to give people a sense of all that the Adler Planetarium has to offer. Yeah, so uh, come and see uh, one of our planetarium shows. We've got um, in our uh, uh, Skywatch Live show, we uh, mentioned the solar eclipse, so you can learn about it there uh, in, our, in our planetarium show. We've got our Chasing Eclipses exhibit, um, so that's running at least through the next eclipse. Um, so you can learn about eclipses, learn about people who mm. have looked up and and, uh, and gone to see eclipses uh, throughout the centuries. So it's a lot of fun. We've got a lot of eclipse stuff going on even if we can't see it tomorrow. Yeah, what do you think it is about whether it's an, an eclipse or space or planets in general that just captures all of our imagination? And I do wonder, you know, with phones and kids, uh, you know, stimulated in so many different ways these days, is there still that same love of, of, of space and science that got people like you and I interested in this stuff? Absolutely. The great thing about seeing a planet in the sky or the moon, a lunar eclipse, a solar eclipse, uh, you can see it. You just need your eyes and maybe a little piece of equipment like this. You don't have to have a telescope. You can actually go out and explore this stuff and look up under the sky we all share. We are sharing the same sky when we look up. And so it's, it's something that captivates us because it's so familiar. And you can actually go out and check it out yourself. And especially these days, it's so uniting. You know, when the skies are clear, if you look up at the stars, everybody around the world seeing the same stars. Uh, Michelle Nichols, thanks for for joining us from the Adler Planetarium. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Right? All right. Thanks, Ben. That'll